Good morning! I am just heating up my leftovers from Tijuana Flats. I'm a big fan of pan frying like any leftovers. I know a lot of people don't like to eat leftovers, but if you pan fry something, generally it tastes pretty ding darn delicious. Almost fresh, like you just got it. So I definitely recommend eat pizza. Pizza is like a number one prime example of things, of leftovers that you should pan fry. I definitely think you should try it if you haven't, but Good morning from my leftovers. Happy Wednesday, everybody. We went to the grocery store today and we were looking for strange Pop-Tart flavors. And somebody told me that there was root beer and there was like orange soda and those were the ones that I was looking for. I didn't find those, but I did find two really weird ones that we're gonna try tonight. I found maple and bacon, which sounds completely delicious together, but disgusting in a Pop-Tart. I'm just reminiscing back on that bacon flavored cotton candy. It was so gross. And then I got watermelon because sort of sounds like it might be good, but at the same time, artificial watermelon in a Pop-Tart probably won't be good. I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think that it's gonna be good? Pop Watermelon's just not a flavor that I see coming in a Pop-Tart. Like, oh, what kind of Pop-Tarts do you want? Watermelon? What? <laughs> yeah, like, it just doesn't sound right. Does it? The other thing that we got was Crystal Pepsi, which we used to have back in the day, and I remember it being gross, but it's been a long time since we've had it, so I'm kind of excited to see if it's like actually gross. I thought it just tasted like regular Pepsi. How is that gross? It's supposed to taste like regular Pepsi, but I remember it not tasting like regular Pepsi, so I'm interested to like see what it actually tastes like or what I remember it tasting like. Saturday Night Live did a bit where instead of it being Crystal Pepsi, it was Crystal Gravy. Ooh. And so that's all that I ever think of now when I think of Crystal Pepsi. It had the same label and everything, and it was just like ooze. That's gross. And it was gross. So now I feel like I'm just gonna taste gravy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but Bandit is laying like a contortionist. Do you see his little feet right there? What are you doing, my little bean? You look like a mermaid. <laughs> Doesn't he look like a mermaid? Mer, mer dog, Dad. Mer dog. Mer dog. He hates this. Why is he laying like that? I don't know. What are you doing, my little bean? He really does hate it, though. Look how his ears are back. Oh, oh no, he's a merbean. Who's ready to try some weird Pop-Tarts and some Crystal Pepsi? I know that I am. I was looking at the Pop-Tarts boxes, and I noticed that the maple bacon one says, it's got a picture of like a poodle, and it says, the early bird may get the worm, but who wants worms for breakfast? Hashtag poodle wisdom. Those are words to live by. And then the watermelon one says, look ma, no seeds, hashtag melon baller. I want this job. I want the job of making up look ma, no seeds, hashtag melon baller for the back of Pop-Tarts boxes. How do I get that job? I think I can do that, right? Like make up the most random stuff. Like here we go. We'll do it with the Crystal Pepsi. It's clear to see who's the best tasting soda on the market, hashtag Chris Delicious. There's like just a dog tail coming into frame every once in a while. <laughs> Killing me, Bandit. This is, this is my job application you're messing with. Who wants watermelon Pop-Tarts when you can have clear soda? Hashtag please recycle. So in trying to come up with a like fun, catchy slogan, I was reading the bottle and it disturbed me greatly because it says Crystal Pepsi, Pepsi Cola, and the Pepsi Globe are trademarks of PepsiCo Incorporated. Partially produced with genetic engineering. Crystal Pepsi, hashtag genetic engineering. Do all Pepsi products use genetic engineering? Crystal Pepsi, at least it's not Crystal Gravy. Hashtag what? Also, when we bought this Crystal Pepsi, I didn't even think that it was caffeinated. It's totally caffeinated. Do you, don't you think we should blindfold ourselves when we drink it? So we can have a true taste test. Because if you see that it's clear, you're gonna think that it tastes, like, you know what I mean? It's gonna mess with your brain. But if you can't see that it's clear, you can actually taste if it really tastes like Pepsi. Hashtag, you can't see that it's clear. All this time trying to come up with Pepsi slogans, and I totally miss the fact that there are comics on the back of the Pop-Tart boxes <laughs> that say, what's that on your chin? And then the watermelon Pop-Tart responds, that's my melon patch. And then there's a Pop-Tart without any frosting on, talking to a dinosaur that is looking at his body without any frosting on it, and the Pop-Tart is saying, 
uh, my eyes are up here to the dinosaur. I like that they have a comic on the, the bacon one that says flop tarts and their flop tart is sweet and sour milkshake. This may be my favorite hashtag ever. Hashtag Oh, brother. But apparently, maple bacon Pop-Tarts was not a flop. All of this setup brings me to the best joke that I've ever heard in my entire life, which I heard today, and I told it to Jen, and I'm gonna tell it to you guys now. It goes like this. Today, for Jen's birthday, I bought her a refrigerator. I know that's not a very good gift, but when she opened the door, boy, did her face light up. Because there's a light inside the refrigerator. We're gonna try Pop-Tarts and Crystal Pepsi now. Let's do it. So let's start with watermelon. We'll wash it down with the Crystal Pepsi and then we'll eat the other one. I like that you just shook up that Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> Hashtag, oh brother. <laughs> no. What are you, Bandit? What are you doing? He's like, oh, Pop-Tarts? I love those. You've never seen a Pop-Tart, get out of here. <laughs> I don't think we've ever purchased a Pop-Tart before. I have. Have you? Like in my personal life. Am I not a part of your personal life? <laughs> I mean, in my previous personal life. Oh, brother. Hashtag, look at how sad that looks. That Pop-Tart looks like the 90s. Ooh, it does. <laughs> it smells gross. <laughs> it smells like watermelon Pop-Tarts. Like exactly what you think it smells like, that's what it smells like. Should we eat it? I mean, we're, we have to now. It's so bad. It's weird because it like the pop tart itself isn't bad. The watermelon jam that they put inside, I don't even know how they did that, um, is like it tastes like a watermelon seed. It doesn't taste like a watermelon. Taste it. Whoa, you did it. This is terrible. I know. Doesn't it taste like a watermelon seed? Why would anybody eat these? Because they're like us, and they're like, oh, let's find some gross flavors at the grocery store. Do you, have you ever had watermelon bubblegum? Yeah. That's what this tastes like, but with like a weird breading on the outside. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't know why. That was the worst thing I have ever had. So it smells just like Crystal Pe or just like regular Pepsi. That's so weird. Why? It tastes just like regular Pepsi. But it's clear. But I can't see it, so that's not like, that's not making my, uh, you know what I mean? Like, if I could see it, I feel like it would just taste different because it looks different. So unblindfold yourself now and try Wait, it. How did they, what, like why? Because of genetic engineering. Well, but why did they make it that color to begin with? Because I think they added that color in. I don't know. Like maybe, it, maybe it had something to do with like soda fountains and making it more appealing. Hmm. Why wouldn't this be appealing? It's clear. Because people like, okay. So back in the day, they used to sell sodas as like tonics, right? So there was guys traveling around trying to sell medicines to people. And if somebody had just like a clear liquid, nobody would buy it because they would just think like, oh, that's just water. He's a snake oil salesman. He's just trying to sell me nothing. But if it was brown, then people would be like, oh wait, that's something right there. So they're thinking like, oh, hey, maybe that is a medicine right there. And so they would buy, Pepsi thinking like, hey, that's like a cure-all, right? Or was that Dr. Pepper? I think I just told you the story of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Smells exactly like Pepsi. It does not taste exactly like Pepsi. Yeah, huh? No. What was it It's taste not like? as harsh as Pepsi. Pepsi has like a, like a denser flavor. This is a little bit lighter than like regular Pepsi is. Do you think? Yeah. I don't know. It tastes the same to me. Hashtag, oh brother, <laughs> who's ready for some maple brown sugar? No, you have to try the Crystal Pepsi without your blindfold now. Oh, okay. That's weird. What? It tastes different now. What is it, right? What does it taste like? It kind of tastes like water now. No. Like a little bit, it tastes like sweet carbonated water to me right now. I, see, like I, I don't thought... taste as much Pepsi. To me, I thought it tasted a little bit lemony. It tastes less like Pepsi now. It does taste less like Pepsi. Like it has a little lemon in it. <laughs> that looks gross. It looks like red pepper flakes. I can still smell it from over here. It's <laughs> like, it has a very permeating smell. Oh no. I think these are the bacon 
flavoring. Oh God. What is it that's bacon flavored in this? Hold on. Is it just like liquid smoke? Molasses, salt, gelatin. I think it's just liquid smoke. I think it's just artificial flavoring. All right, here we go. Why? Why did that just happen in my mouth? What? I mean, because we bought them. I know, but like, who thought that was a good idea? Somebody had to taste test this and be like, yeah, let's sell that. That's good. <laughs> you should sell that. People are going to love that. It's not as bad as the watermelon. I will admit that. But it's not good. I don't even know how to describe this. Like, it sort of tastes like bacon. Like, in your mind, you're like, okay, I can see where that sort of tastes like bacon. But one, we didn't cook these, so they're not hot. They're cold. What does it smell like? Maple syrup. Yeah. It smells like pancakes. Yes. Oh, good. Does it taste like pancakes and bacon? I do get the bacon just from the little, like, little dots. And I don't like that part. I like the other part. It tastes like pancakes, but it shouldn't have the bacon. So it should just be maple. Maple brown sugar. Mmm. Maple pancake. Oh. More butter. Mmm. Oh yeah, so instead of the bacon flex, it should have butter flex. Butter flex is my rap name. <laughs> I would just like to point out that the uh, cover artwork for this Pop-Tarts box is just a Pop-Tart with a photoshopped picture of a piece of bacon having some maple syrup poured on it. Holy cow, I uh, fell asleep directly after trying all that stuff. So yeah, that means that I'm tired, so I'm off to bed. I still don't know why they stopped making Crystal Pepsi. It's weird and it's interesting and it should stick around forever. So I'm off to bed and now it's time to pay the price.